predatory fly. Oh. doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good too. So, can you introduce yourself a little bit quick? Yeah, um, my name is Carol Cray. I have my doctorate in entomology from Washington State University and I've been here at the University of Florida as a postdoc. Hmm. So what are your research goals for this program? So I'm working on some new biological control and farmers, they are always on the lookout for pests, and but at the same time, there are some good bugs too. Right, not all bugs are bad. Um, so there's predators, and I'm looking at what predators may be out in organic strawberry fields. So these predators could be ladybugs, lacewings, or even spiders, which are actually uh, arthropods and not insects. But they are really good at finding these prey and eating them, and these can help. Uh, reduce any damage on the crops and um, help the, the growers in making spray decisions instead of always um, immediately spraying with pesticides. Okay. That's nice. Uh, can you give me a little bit of detail about how you're doing this? Experience? So what I'm going to be doing is going out and collecting insects. I use a reverse leaf blower and I collect all these uh, insects and I sort out and look for the predators okay. um, and then I bring them back into the lab and I do DNA extractions okay. on the thorax or abdomen or the gut region of okay. the insect or, or spider for example and what I'm looking for is what's in their guts what have they been eating and these are generalist, generalist predators that I'm looking at which means they aren't at all picky about what they eat which is different from a specialist who has mm -hmm. a very specific type of um, food item that it needs to eat or even to reproduce in, like a parasitoid. And I'm then doing these extractions and I'll use molecular tools to um, answer the kind of the question of who are they eating and I can even do relative abundances mm -hmm. using next generation sequences. That sounds really cool. Do you think your research will have some kind of impact for the growers around here? Yeah, I think this gives the growers the ability to look at what predators are naturally occurring in their fields. These are all uh, free and everywhere for these growers, and this will help them make better pest management strategy decisions when it comes to um, implementing chemical control options or even purchase, the use of purchasing other biological controls, such as predatory mites or, or other predatory bugs that are available to purchase on that's really interesting. Thank you for taking time to talking with us. Thank you.